Welcome back, everyone. I am Ted's friends. And I am the Mike Robles, and this is Squad Says Served. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> a cooking competition where you, the squads, control everything. You will get to vote on resources for your chefs, forced ingredients the other chef must use, scoring categories, and sabotages to inflict on the opposing chef. All right, let's go ahead and meet today's chefs. Chefs Aaron and Chef Michelle. Come on down. I think there's music. Do this there, might be, there might be music, actually. There we go. Perfect. I'm glad this is... Good job, Aaron. Thank you. Getting to your stations there. All right. Let's go ahead and let's talk about the rules for Squad Says Served. Our chefs will have these featured ingredients that must be finished and ready to be presented to our judges. We have tofu at 20 minutes, jackfruit at 40 minutes, and polenta at 60 minutes. Uh, we needed to intro our judges there. We did. Talk to them individually. We'll, we'll, do, it, we'll do it right now. <laughs> now, that they, now that they know what they have to make, Chef Michelle, why don't you look at that camera right over there and tell the folks at home who you are, what you do, where they can find you on the internet. Oh, um, again, my name is Michelle. You're welcome to call me Fox. My handle is Don't Give No Fox. Um, I consider myself a Linux gamer and vegan broadcaster. Feel free to come out to my channel when I'm live or my Discord is on my channel as well. That's me. All right. Awesome. And over here we have Chef Aaron. Aaron, tell the folks at home a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Chef Aaron Andrews. I've been cooking professionally for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm happy to be back here. Chef Alligator, Instagram. And uh, we are going to do it vegan style today. Yeah, we are. Are you ready so, for that? Yeah, I'm ready. Do you think you're going to win? You're going to get me that first victory and get, get Green Squad that first victory this time? Yeah. <laughs> Very enthusiastic. About it. I hope so because currently, right now, all the weight of gold is weighing down this side of the studio. I don't like that. With all <laughs> of those, more bronzy to me. so you know, need to, need to ensure that we continue building this weight so we can tilt and get all tilted there. As we mentioned before, we've got these three featured ingredients to be served at 20, 40, and 60 minutes. All right. So squads will be alternating 60-second voting rounds throughout the show. So. Check the border around the voting options. When it's your squad's color, it's your turn to vote. Vote by clicking right on the screen to select your preferred option. You'll have to join a squad first, however, so log into Twitch and click the button in the middle of the screen to get started. Now, most of the votes that are, are gonna award a resource to your team's chef. Resources include anything like heat sources, cookware, bowls, utensils, and of course, ingredients. Your chef can choose to use these ingredients or these resources or not in any of their dishes. Now, there are also some special voting rounds. Each dish, you will have the opportunity to vote on an ingredient to force upon the other squad's chef. They must use that ingredient in the next dish they serve. You will also be able to sabotage the opposing chef once per dish. Now, sabotages might include stealing resources, distracting the other squad's chef, or <coughs> restricting their use of resources for a period of time. And finally, for each dish, each team was going to vote on additional scoring categories that will apply to both teams for the next dish to be served. In addition to the scoring categories voted by you, the squads, each dish will also be judged on taste. Each of the two judges will uh, rate the dish in three scoring categories on a scale from 1 to 10. So, 30 points per dish per judge, 60, per, 60 points per dish total, 180 points across all three dishes. Some of those scoring categories are a bit vague, so we're going to leave that up to the interpretation of the judges. That's you guys going first that this is, time. We around, are going isn't it? first. Let's go ahead and let's get that voting round started uh, and get 20 minutes on the clock for Tofu. Chefs, are you ready? Hi. <laughs> They're so, so enthusiastic. I mean, please! Yeah. Chefs, are you ready? <laughs> yes. Squad says cook. Okay. E Honda cosplay, actually. <laughs> oh, that's right, I have to tell people. As a reminder, you do have to be on PC or Mac to vote. The technology doesn't work yet on phones or tablets. If you do forget the results of the previous vote, check the voting history panel in your browser that's underneath the uh, video player there. All right, let's go ahead and let's recap what happened during our first show, Squad Says Guess. Uh, we won the first round, which means we got that first option of the vote, and we won that mini maker, which uh, Chef Michelle, I've already plugged in, is already heating up for you right Thank over you. there. Oh, yeah. Well, and uh, unfortunately, let's see, uh, Chef Aaron, all we got was that knife over there. Well, you and, also uh, got to select your knife and select our oh, knife. Yeah, we did You've select theirs. I got a good knife. What was the knife that you picked? 
the sharpest one around. <laughs> and, and then the one that you guys got. Chef Michelle, we got this sweet Miracle Blade Miracle Blade <laughs> Bread Knife. Is it a two or it's just a two? Oh, this is a Miracle Blade two, so it's oh. twice as awesome. Ooh. So we got that look there. At you. Uh, and it was really funny. As soon as we got mm. going, Chef Michelle stabbed her tofu like right away, and she's yeah, already drained. Yeah, started on what that. What do you got going on over there, Chef? Can we get see? Can we see what Chef Michelle is doing over here at the <laughs> sink? What are you What are you doing? I'm draining the tofu. You drain the tofu. She's using her cutting boards to drain the tofu. Right over there. That's crazy. All right. Uh, I think a f I think a vote has happened for us already, but yep. we did not see the results on We're screen. We're waiting on those results here. Uh, Let's go ahead and go over to uh, Aaron. So Aaron, you've got tofu. You opened the jackfruit. Can yeah, you smell that? Yeah, smell it. It's uh, quite perfumey and fruity. Mm. It smells really good. It is really nice. It smells like peaches. Canned peaches. Yeah. To, what does it taste like? Peaches. Canned peaches. Oh, Are you actually gonna taste? It's, it's really salty. Oh, weird. Okay, yeah. hold on. I have actually never uh, cooked jackfruit. That's uh, really interesting. But I know it's really, uh, like, can get really meaty. Yeah. So I want to make, I want taco ingredients. <clears throat> I want to make some jackfruit tacos for our judges. Uh, well, uh, Green tacos. Squad, lucky for us, gave us the griddle, an oven, and the roasting pan. Great. So there we go. We can make Great. some make some tacos. And uh, also, I want that uh, super pot that wasn't used yet. The yesterday. super pot, nice. Uh, and Purple Squad uh, has given uh, Chef Fox, Chef Michelle, this small saucepan and the front burner. So now you've got two heat sources that you can use with. We're going to come back to you in just a second <laughs> and figure out, see what you're doing and how you're going to use these heat sources. What I want to do is let's introduce the two folks that are going to be judging these dishes right here. We have our two judges, uh, one returning uh, judge and one who was a chef that is now a judge. So going over there to, uh, to my left over there, sh uh, Judge Chef Steph, go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, I am uh, Stephanie. Yeah, hi. Sorry. Um, uh, <laughs> I uh, I am a uh, sign artist at Trader Joe's. I also do art on the side in general uh, for myself. And yeah, I was a chef once already before when in, in the earlier days when things were different. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah. And I tasted that. I judged yours. Yeah. <laughs> I do a lot of cooking at home, so and, and I I tend to watch a lot of food television and research food science, and I am very look up to Alton Brown. So I'm actually kind of a nerd and knowledgeable. I, I like to think I'm knowledgeable. Just uh, Kels. I love Alton Brown. That's my identity. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Kels. I was a chef on Tuesday, so and I've been a judge before that. So I think. I'm actually gonna have a little bit of different experience now as a judge. Um, I'm making my own game, Calico, and running my own studio, Cat Bean Games. And we're making a game about witches and magical girls and cat cafes. And I'm super excited, and we just got tail physics. Great, all right. Uh, during that vote, it looks like Green Squad voted for you guys to get some avocado oil and dried rosemary. Over here on the purple side, we got some fresh thyme and margarine. Uh, we do want to remind the chefs that you guys are going to be making three portions, one for each judge and one for the Instagram. I think as, you need to get as, a good shot of that. That looks like oof. an alien, <laughs> like an what alien dissection. This? Okay, hold on. That's, We've got an overhead that can actually look right at this. There. Did you take a taste of this yet? No, I haven't. All right, well, let's see what this actually is. Oh, God. Chef Stephanie's shaking her head. She's shaking her head over there. It's like fruity artichoke hearts. Yeah. Fruity artichoke actually, hearts. Actually, that could be really good. That sounds like if it could be actually really, really good. I'm super down, but it does look like alien it's guts. It's super, alien super weird. Uh, yeah. It looks like mushroom almost. Uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, I've never seen a jackfruit before. Well, there you go. You've been missing out, buddy. We learn. We learn every day on the show. Chef Michelle, what do you got going on here? You seemed really excited when I brought up the margarine and the thyme, and I noticed you've only used about maybe half of the tofu. What's going on in your head right now? Uh, I want to use the rest of the tofu for the polenta. Oh, okay. Since, um, I haven't made it with uh, it in that form before, since it's all kind of just speckled. <laughs> and I could bread it, bread the tofu, All and right. then have the polenta be flavored with something so that it shines over the tofu. Nice. All right. So we're gonna do with this current tofu in the time because this year your ear um, looks like deleafing the time. It's going to be a quick uh, fry in here. I'm thinking, or just, or I can use that pot. All right. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, we also just got popcorn, salt, and a potato. Ooh, look at you. I love potatoes. You love potatoes. Chef Aaron, Great. who is uh, currently watching his hands. Thank you. Uh, what do you need for this tofu right now? What, what's uh, going to be on the menu? Uh, you today? know what? I'm going to do the usual game strategy, which for the first round, which is react until I have enough things to actually make a semblance of food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, You've been victorious with that before as well. Yeah, I mean, the good thing about tofu is it's already cooked, so yeah. I just really need to heat it up. 
if I'm going to heat it up. Um, but I don't, I mean, I have, I get some spiced uh, sea salt, salt and, and elbow, elbow noodles. noodles. Salt is good. Yeah, no, absolutely. Elbow noodles, elbow noodles. Yeah, that's macaroni. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but well, I, hey, and chef, I think do you know gonna, what elbow noodles are? Those are macaroni. Um, I'm thinking, though, that the odds are that I'm not going to get a pot at this yeah. point. So I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to cook my polenta in, in, the, in the ways that I have it. And I'm going to try something. He doesn't have something. the oven, doesn't he? No, I have the oven and the roasting yet. pan, but I have that griddle, too. Yep. We do have the wait, griddle. You the have the roasting. Griddle. You have the. Wait, when did you get the oven? I know you got the roasting pan and the griddle. Yeah, we got the roasting pan, the griddle, the oven, and, oh, the, and the, the, oven. Television yeah, the, so. the, the television said so. The television said so. Uh, Mick Swinger says there's a great bar in Tacoma that makes jackfruit tacos. They take on any flavor you give them. So Ooh, yeah, they really do. That's good. And yeah. same with tofu as well. Yeah, honestly. Uh, we're about to get. So we got we got a slotted spatula and a medium glass mixing bowl. So there's a mixing bowl we talked about earlier. Oh, you awesome. asked me about. So we got a medium glass mixing bowl and a slotted That's spatula. Neither of which I have. So I got to run and grab those. For you. That's actually really interesting. I had no idea that the jackfruit would take on the sort of flavor of whatever was sort of cooked with it. I have so. a question for McSwinger. Does it does the jackfruit take on the aroma of Tacoma? <laughs> well, Jesus, we're going with the Tacoma smells again yeah. thing. Yeah. Tacoma stinks. Okay, you made it improve. All our viewers from Tacoma right now are yeah. so angry. They all just they switched stuff. They all They've switched left. to Purple Team. Oh no. The Purple team doesn't need any more members. Yeah, we do. Come join the evil squad. The no. fun squad. Uh, the fun squad. The fun squad. That's what I meant. Uh, talk to me about what you found with this potato. Uh, I want to peel it, but it's a little awkward with this knife. With that knife. Yeah, it's yeah. Kinda, yeah it is kind of awkward. You see, look at that, though. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> it's all in the thumb. You're like, you're like, oh, that was super awkward, and you did like a pro. <laughs> Have you done this before? Have you peeled the potato with a bread knife before? <laughs> uh, no, but now I'm open to more ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, Aaron says, I'm driving north right now. See you in two hours. Uh-oh, McSwinger versus Aaron. <laughs> two hours. Live two hours. Right now on the yep. squad. He'll be, he'll, they'll get here well just played. in time. Well played. To, for us to be leaving. For, yeah, right at the end of the show there. <laughs> All uh, right. We do also want to say, folks who are watching at home, if you haven't already, please do click that follow button. Join a squad and uh, consider voting on either the green squad or the purple squad. Help these chefs out. Give them something to work with here. We don't want to just serve them tofu with cinnamon and oyster sauce on it there. <laughs> Call back to one of our older shows Call there. back to one of our older shows. Uh, Chef Fox, so you're all right. You're cutting the potato. You've peeled the potato quite nicely. Uh, <laughs> Chef Aaron's already started his jackfruit oh. and is already soaking his polenta. Are you not worried about either of those two dishes or are you just trying to focus mainly on the tofu and what you're going to get? Well, with the jackfruit, it's hard because you're usually supposed to marinate that for a long time. So in the time that we have, I'm just going to wing it and oh. see how you can do. Awesome. Yeah. All right, just gonna wing it. I love it. We well, got a bell pepper. I'm gonna grab that for you. You can use that, I'm sure. Squads, what you're seeing there on your screen right now, green squad specifically at the moment. You should be seeing a sabotage vote. Now, the thing that you're voting for is something to sabotage on to the purple squad. So let's make sure we give them something devastating, something terrible. Bring like it. Making them put on a cat head if that's on there. Yeah, give we us love that. Give us, some, give us some oil. No, that would this suck. Is, no, we don't give want us, them to have anything good. What do we need? Good. What do we need? Right we need now. Let's make oil. sure they give something devious. And then purple yeah, squad in a second here. You're also going to see a similar vote to vote on to the green yeah, squad. Yeah, like there. make like make Chef Aaron have to drive to the coma. Like for a sabotage. <laughs> what a terrible sabotage. That'd be a terrible that would sabotage. Be. sabotage. You have to leave right now. Can't come back until he drives to the coma and back. I would really like pot, but I'm gonna cook my pasta in the oven this way. There you go. Oh, wow, all right. Wow! I'm That's, excited to see how that actually comes the out. The ratio of pasta to, That looks... Sure. Classic sure. ratio is 8 to 1. There you go. Water all to right. pasta. There we go. Okay, so green squad, you have sabotaged purple squad. So, uh, Chef Michelle, you have to put your hand on that faucet for five minutes and keep it on the faucet for five minutes. No, your hand has, needs to be on the faucet, on not the, faucet? the, uh, yeah, the faucet, you, not the any, handle. Anywhere on the faucet, yeah, that's the oh. hand. Yeah, so that's, so it could yeah. be anywhere. Anywhere there. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <clears throat> no, don't you go over there, Mike. I'm not going over there. No, what do you need? Do you need, do you need me there. to help? Do you need me to help? Yeah, can you, can you give it to me, yeah, uh, Let's go ahead and turn it over to Chef Aaron here. Aaron is hollowing out this avocado. Now, Aaron, what is your plan for the tofu? Now that you've got a little avocado, you've got a little bit of salt. Is there anything that you can really do with this? Are we serving a plate of tofu? Thank you. I kind of have a crazy idea yeah. if my pasta gets. Are you about to make guacamole with this? No. Pasta and guacamole? <laughs> Please. It was what, it was, what does one normally make with elbow macaroni? Cheese? 
Macaroni and cheese. But it's vegan. Oh so what are we going to make our sauce out of? Maybe we make it out of these two guys. Holy shit. What All a right. great idea. That, that sounds, sounds a really fantastic idea. In I fact, see. Chef Aaron, hang on here. Chef Aaron, you need to stop what you're doing right now. Oh, you cannot no. come back until you have made two laps around this building. Can I just go to the bathroom? <laughs> That so, was between shows you had to do that. Okay. That was go all ahead, right, Aaron. So you're going to go that way. You're going to take a left. We'll see you in a few So That was here's, not. That welcome. was. He was like trotting. Oh, yeah. No, he's he's, he's going to be like trotting. 20 minutes. Uh, welcome to the TED Cooking Show over here on uh, Chef Aaron's station. This is the third time I've had to do the TED Cooking Show over here. Uh, we do have some questions in the chat here. Catify means that they sh the chefs have to wear a giant cat head for five minutes. Uh, and then uh, the plating in mugs means that they had to take whatever they were going to plate and actually serve it in a mug. Uh, I want to know what's, what's what the people on? in the Chef. beauty salon are going to think Chef. when I go handed. running by. You're actually making really tiny cuts with the, with one hand. That's that's kind of awesome. Vote for something good. <laughs> <laughs> An ice cream scoop mm. and a cast iron skillet. I think those are both great things for you to use. Nice job, job so. Rain Squad. Those are fantastic items to use, especially that ice cream scoop. Oh do you my. need help with anything? Are you? How much time do I have on the You still have three minutes on the faucet. Okay. Do you add more butter to you? Okay, so that's dirty. <laughs> Does this count? Can I? Yes, that's, okay. that's counts because you're, you're washing it. For cleanliness reasons, it's fine. I'm, I'm just over here watching the food. I get to watch it over here. It's there good. it we is. We got seven All minutes right. and 38 seconds left. I'm enjoying myself. Okay, I don't get to be chef anymore. I was there are some really, fly. really confused people outside. Are there really? I can imagine. I can imagine. Oh my, those poor people. Well, that's fine. They don't get to come in here. They don't get to see the magic that happens here in this studio. What did I get? Uh, you got an ice cream scoop and a cast iron skillet. Uh, cast iron skillet's great. At, you don't have a, a burner. Yeah, but I can put it in the oven. You do. I love my his face when I said, oh, you got an ice cream this? scoop. I just immediately went like, Thank ice cream soup is pointless. Yeah, no, I don't know what you're going to use that <laughs> stirring device. It might have been a Mom stirring Basta. device. Now, I don't know if you happen to have seen the show from the other day there, our premiere date, but we had Chef Judge Kells over there who had her utensils stolen and stirred things up with a uh, zucchini, a large zucchini. See, it was, it was it as a utensil. It was quite amazing. I uh, heard it was a cucumber. I heard it was bad. It was a cucumber. <laughs> it was a cucumber, I'm sorry. Uh, let's check in here with Chef Fox. Chef Fox, how's it going over here? Oh, stay, look at that. Chef Fox has found out that the faucet moves. Congrats. Oh, <laughs> uh, you also got some bok choy. Oh, uh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, ah, oh, oh my. Many things I can do with bok choy. Many things you can do with bok choy, they said. Great. Can you do anything right. with bok choy in that little saucepan there? Oh, yeah. You oh, can wow, cook. she's confident. You Look can at that. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, McSwinger says, so check out those cutting skills. Damn girl, you go. <laughs> oh, my God. So, squads, right now you're voting on scoring categories. The first scoring category that you voted for is aroma, something that you very much associate with tofu. Uh, so aroma, aroma. You know, the uh, score judges. has to be scored number one. I'm so glad we got that time. Uh, added Ooh, in we there. got rosemary. Yeah, there you go. but I don't rosemary have pot, so I don't think my pasta is gonna be cooked in time. Darn it! So, uh oh, that's not very good. <laughs> so we do want to remind you folks at home that those scoring categories are going to be each worth ten points each. What was that? It's I was just... saying across both teams. This is go for both teams, and it's a, it's a. And hey, McDonald, I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chef Mikey, out there. Hey, man, Chef Mike. You can come on down to the show. After you leave the Game Awards, fly to Seattle. Come on my show. Jesus. So uh, that the each scoring category is going to be worth 10 points each for a total of 30 points. So we'll see what the next scoring category that comes up here is. Something good, something like, does it have <sighs> potato in it? I think would be a great scoring category. Does it have, I don't think does that's an available scoring category. It, it could be. It could be maybe a write-in. Maybe it's the write -in. turret. Colorful. Again. Colorful. All right, the scoring category is colorful. Is the dish colorful? So oh, I'm gonna keep that in mind while we're plating. Uh, chefs, we got about five minutes left in this first tofu dish. Uh, you have <gasps> what am I gonna do? seven, five, four, three, two, one. You are allowed to okay. take a half that faucet there right now. Let's take a look at this real quick. I just want to bring attention over here. So colorful. Colorful. White. We have I got white. I got white pale is a green. Color. I've got clear. <laughs> Nice what job, Pur fuck? Purple Squad. Nice job on voting for that scoring category. Oh, let's man. talk Come about on. the judges. What? This is no wonder Green Squad well, let's has challenges. You gotta, we gotta vote. We gotta vote cohesively. Uh, well, look. Then all of a sudden, it we did Aroma. Other Squad did 
I mean, color. Yeah. What do they have? So we got lots of colors. Pepper. Let's talk to the judges here. Let's check in with Steph, uh, with Chef Steph, who clearly knows a thing or two about color. Uh, and let's hear about your thoughts, both on colorful and aroma. Chef Steph, talk to us about what these scoring categories mean to you. Well, I mean, Ooh. colorful could be just about anything in terms of just a variety of colors, if you want to get technical. But <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> As Maybe nice it's color? A nice color? Yeah, you know, like not bland looking or has like a nice variety. It should be fine, I guess. Um, but aroma is pretty obvious, which <laughs> is not going to be great for me because I still have not fully gotten back my nose, my, my nose abilities since oh, I was you know. sick last week. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just like, I probably can kind of smell this, so that'll be good. Tells? <laughs> uh, most of the food I eat is beige. So, <laughs> isn't white like the combination of all the colors? In so light. technically, well, it's in white, light. it's like in the light. most colorful. <laughs> I love you how you're trying to sell this black, so difficult that would be right all now. The colors. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. And that's white, as we know, it's very slimming. Also, white and light. Black is very white slimming. And light yes. Is all colors, and then in color, like in actual items, white is absolute yeah. reflection of. You know well, all right. Just... Well, there's about three minutes left in this dish before we have to bring it over to you guys for you guys to taste. Uh, Reflective Gamer says, Ahoy, all, Ahoy. Also, Purple Squad says, has voted to give uh, Chef Fox some mushrooms. That's right. Uh, oh, she got really excited about no. that. No. No. We don't like mushrooms. Say what? You can use them for another dish. Maybe use them as salt. You have them there. She cheated earlier, by the way, and asked the <laughs> judges, what are your flavor palettes? This is before Chef Aaron showed up here. Claire's exactly. shaking his head over there. What? She Doing some that. reconnaissance early. Just oh, like if, I'd you have known, if I'd have known she was going to ask that, I would have said, no, you can't ask that, and there's no way you can ask that. Yeah, she, sure you would. like, took him out to dinner the other day. Yeah, no, she too. took yeah. him out to dinner and yeah. went like, so what foods do you like? No, Let's I've, see what they I've had multiple dinners with her. So, <laughs> wow. We there do also go. want to say there, folks, if you are at home watching this show, please do uh, join a squad. Please do leave us a Made follow up. there. Or if you have a Twitch Prime, consider subbing to us as it does help keep this show running and sh keep this show going. Uh, Green Squad, thank you very much for giving us a tomato. Yeah, give me the tomato. Get I need it right going. now, please. All right, and again, for those of you maybe who just joined us right now, uh, at the end of Guess, my chef started off with a mini maker and a bread knife, and we got to go first in this round. Uh, chef Aaron over there chose that really nice knife. It's actually... It's not that That's great. That's the sharpest the one. Sharpest one. He yeah, chose quote, get the sharpest one. So it turns out whoever we hired to sharpen the knives is doing a uh, terrible, <laughs> terrible job. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to let that person go and find a new, find a new knife sharpener. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Actually, I didn't sharpen that one. There you the, go. Great. The sharpest one hasn't even been sharpened. It takes significantly longer than I thought it would to sharpen each one of these knives. All right, we got about significantly a, longer. A minute and twenty seconds left. We're gonna need to start plating these dishes. Oh, you have already started plating these dishes. Talk to me about your plan for plating these dishes and how we're gonna present this to the judges. Well, I wanted all of them to be on um, these guys, but I think I'm running out of time, so you I'm gonna are, put the mushrooms in. Left. Yeah. And remember, we need to make three different plates. So, which which plate are you going to use for this first one? Um, let us do the bowls. Okay, so they're they're plating. I'm sorry, I was waiting for him to be done. I was just like watching Chef Aaron work. I got hypnotized. The camera was on <laughs> me for a minute, and I'm just going like, you're staring at Chef Aaron, whatever he's doing. Staring Let's at go yourself. see what's going on here. Aaron, Mesmerizing you cuisine. What is this? Mesmerizing, Mesmerizing cuisine. Mesmerizing cuisine is what it is. This is going to be tofu tricolore. Okay. Tofu tricolore. I dig it. This is looking good, though. Like, I would enjoy eating something like this. But it looks healthy as heck, too. Uh, and is it aromatic? Can we say it's aromatic? It's it almost aromatic. Almost aromatic. As aromatic as tofu can really be. All right, chefs, you got 10 seconds left before Ooh. you need to take hands off these dishes. Take these two. There we go. go. These two? Yep, those two. Please. Tofu tricolore? Yeah, tofu tricolore. Here we go. Oh, you got the real burger, by the way. Time oh, right. awesome. Uh, uh, so here carrots. we go. Okay. Uh, to our chefs here, or judges, our judge chefs, because you both have chef judge before. Chef. And now you are uh, judges. So uh, this is uh, Chef Aaron's <laughs> tofu tricolore, as he says. <laughs> you've got the tofu there. You've got the... Uh, Avocado there, and you've got the tomato, and there's a little bit of some uh, olive oil in there, and some spiced uh, spiced salt to season that guy. Okay. All right, from Chef Fox, we have our very wintry tofu uh, 
it's it's our winter forest uh, tofu dish. As you can see, it embellishes the colors of a nice winter forest with some snow. And then when the snow falls off the trees, you got the really nice green in there. Uh, she's mixed the tofu with a little bit of mushrooms, a little bit of green pepper, some fresh thyme, and some potatoes. Please to be enjoying. Uh, Chef Michelle, in addition to the carrots you got during that last little bit, you also have the rear burner. Oh, you already got a pot over there, unless you're getting them <laughs> out of the way. But now you have both burners that you're allowed to oh, use. Awesome. And it's jackfruit time. What are your thoughts? Cook it. Cook it. Great. So here's the thing about that back burner. On Green Squad, we also get a handicap because one of them is really teeny and one of them is really huge. Mm. So, and you two get regular burners. You know, always yeah, the this, excuses. this back burner is always the excuses. A burner. It is it is a garbage burner. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay. uh, UGW Jack Jack, thank you so much, Jack Jack, for the sub. Very much appreciated. Welcome to uh, Squad Says. A squad? Welcome to the Squad. Welcome to the Squad. Say yeah, from yeah, now yeah. On? Welcome to the Squad. Is Squad Says on Purple Squad? Nice job, Squad Says. Squad Says <laughs> is on the Purple Squad. That's apparently, right. there. That's Wonderful. Right. As you can see, you have your two over there. Rigged, rigged everybody. Rigged, what are you talking about rigged? Those are both amazing. Uh, <laughs> oh, this means, uh, this means we got forced ingredients this round. In this next round, round two here, in this jackfruit, you guys are gonna get to vote on forced ingredients. And that means that these, this ingredient that is forced, um. that you're gonna have to force the other chef to use, and that dish must be present in the next huh. dish. Might be under mine, uh, or, or it might be, yeah. Yeah, or they might be, uh, over there. yeah, they're right here. Oh, they were under yours. Yeah. Ah, we got cashews uh, here. Yeah, let's Great. go over here. Let's check in with Chef uh, Chef Michelle. What do you got going on over there? Boiling it. You're going to boil the jackfruit, all right. Why, why are you choosing to boil it over anything else? Um, I have a lack of really pungent flavors, okay. so with this, I'm going to dilute it and then add some bok choy and carrot. And add some bok choy and carrot. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, we might get some pungent flavors, and in fact, uh, we're going to be there's going to be forced ingredients oh. voted on, so you may get something forced that's pungent. Okay. Could be good. Could we be terrible. We can only hope. Yeah. <laughs> well, Hopefully, we'll durian. Out. We're about to we're about to get a forced ingredient <laughs> for uh, for the green squad. Let's see what we've we've forced the green squad to use pickles. Oh. Pickles have to be present in this next one. Okay, so. I want barbecue sauce. Give me barbecue sauce. Stuff with barbecue sauce. So then we can have like jackfruit barbecue with pickles. Pickle. Ooh, oh my god, that'd be Own great. That there you go. There's oh, some great some kosher pickles there. Pickles. Mm. So in addition to this also being the vegan show, this is also the kosher show. <laughs> Mazel tov. Tastes good. Mazel tov. Happy Hanukkah. Ah. Oh. Ha happy Hanukkah to you too. Yeah, that's what you say when someone says happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah, you just I'm yell Hanukkah. Hanukkah. You just yell Hanukkah. What is going on? No, that's what you do. You, as soon as somebody tells you happy Hanukkah, you go Hanukkah. Back at them. My, right. Okay, so Green Squad, right now you're also voting on a forced ingredient. So force a terrible, terrible thing upon them. Uh, something not pungent, like, I guess? Like turmeric. No, oh, that would nothing suck. like that. Let's give uh, them something terrible to, that they have to work with here. Uh, as they have given us pickles, which actually isn't too bad. Maybe we could just use the pickle juice in that for some reason. I don't know. Maybe, I mean, yeah. we'll see what else we get. Pringles! Sorry, I, I got really excited. <laughs> Pringles! No, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> The, the downside of this, though, is unfortunately with these Pringles, once we pop, the fun don't stop. The fun don't <laughs> stop. You have to use Pringles in this next dish. Do fantastic. you have? You're fantastic. Yeah. What are your thoughts right now? Immediately thoughts. What are your immediate thoughts about this Pringles? Is this vegan? Is this <laughs> vegan? This First thing she's doing is looking at this. Yeah. If it's vegan. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Or how are we going to use it? We also have this mini maker that could be used at some point during the during the show if you want to use it. How are you going to use the Pringles? They have to be present in this next dish. What are your plans? Breading polenta Pringles. Ooh, that crunch, so good. But the Pringles have to be used in the jackfruit dish. Oh, in the jackfruit dish? In the dish. jackfruit dish, yeah. I know, yeah, I know. It's gonna throw everything out. Oh man, I can smell those pickles. I hate pickles. You want a pickle? No, get those away from me. Pungent cumin, somebody said. Mm. Uh, these pickles are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. are, these are really good. <laughs> well, she, 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 she just looked, she opened the Pringles, she thought about it, she looked at me, she gave me the thumbs up. She says, you know what, I'll be good. I'll be good. You also get an orange. You know what's so good about that. these? These are like charcuterie pickles. Mm -hmm. That's like what you put on like a little platter with some cheeses and stuff. Look at this big ass orange. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's a good orange. That's, that's thick. That's I have you. an idea. Hey, Chef Aaron. Yeah. Why don't we make a charcuterie plate with the jackfruit and the pickles and stuff <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the tomato and the avocado and... <clears throat> is that something um, we can do? No. Next one. Or not, yeah. this is your yes. dish. Yes, yes we could. Oh. What? 
We can do this. I don't know. It's your you guys do, do whatever you, you want. You guys are going to make a charcuterie board? I don't know. We could. That, what if we did? You could hang nothing. It would be I, incredible. I think that would be incredible. Uh, yeah, I want spices. Give me some I'm spices. I'm going to talk to the judges. Go ahead, since, go ahead. Uh, since you guys have a thing Fennel coming toothpaste. up here. toothpaste. Judges, here I come <laughs> to talk to you guys. How's it going? I, yep, that's right. You're at a restaurant, and you put the food in your mouth, and the waiter says, is everything going? Is everything tasting all right? Do you need me to talk to the manager for anything? Um, <laughs> talk to me without giving away <laughs> numerical values. Talk to me about these first two dishes and your thoughts on either one of them. You can keep finishing your food. Let's we'll no, start with fine. I, can't go. Make I do want to say a, a very interesting prospect. I have never eaten tofu on its own. I've usually eaten a bunch of stuff. This one, um, the green teams, really tasted like just like bread dipped in oil. Bread dipped Which I, in oil. I like. Okay. I like bread right. dipped in oil. Sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, like when you have bread and you like dip it in the oil and then yeah. you eat it. Yeah, yeah. Um, they both weren't bad. It's just it, it, with the first dishes, they're usually kind of simplistic. Yeah. They both work. Um, this one was more colorful. That they was did more have, colorful, yeah. They did have the tricolor. They did have the yep. I think it's like a flag, I'm pretty sure. France. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they won the World Cup on foreign soil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, time she was done. Okay, uh, yeah, no, uh, in a similar that. fashion, I thought this one was definitely very colorful. Uh, in terms of aroma, uh, purple actually won out that one. Because yeah. The rosemary was really, uh, like, not rosemary, thyme. The thyme, yep. the, fresh, the fresh herbs really made a huge difference there. Pepper. Yeah. yeah. Um, I did really appreciate the sear that he got onto the tofu, though, on the green. Um, that definitely gave it like a little extra texture to kind of break up the dish a bit more. All right, great. Uh, yeah. All right, well, let's see. We'll get the scores up on the screen here. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna get these first uh, scores here, and let's see what we got going on here. Based on, I know, drum roll. Oh, the anticipation. The anticipation. I, 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 I hope they were ready. Uh, apparently not. <laughs> there we go. So it looks like we got the green with a score of 44. And the purple, the score Ooh. of 44. We have a oh, dead yeah. heat right now. Look at that. They gave uh, me 44 points for that? It's 44 <laughs> points per dish right there. It looks like definitely taste won out on the green squad. Uh, the aroma, however, is what killed green squad over there with fives. And aroma on the purple squad, seven and eights. Uh, you know, colorfuls, again, went to the green yeah. squad. But I think what got us is the uh, our aroma helped sort of balance that out. So, wow, dead heat right now going into round two. That's wow. fantastic. What did I miss? Uh, you missed an, okay, so squads voted for an apple for you, and we got a cinnamon, and uh, we just got a yellow onion as well. All Great. right, cinnamon, we got an apple. Right. You have a lot of fruits going on here. That's nice. Yes, nice. All right. You look like you were about to say something. What's, what, talk to me about what's going on. What are your thoughts with this jackfruit dish? Let's get this tofu out of the okay. way. Uh, it's going to be a soup. I'll taste it yellow? when it's 10 minutes, but my main um, qualm with this is whether or not it's going to be cooked. Whether well, that's to be cooked in time. So you're a little worried about a little bit of raw jackfruit. You've got that heat turned way, way up, it looks like. Yep. You got some mushrooms in there, some thyme, some carrots. It actually looks really good as of now. What are your thoughts, though, on the, oh, you put some bok choy, too. Mm -hmm. You got the apple, the orange, the carrots, the Pringles. How are the Pringles going to go into this dish? It's going to be a topping, so it's going to add that extra touch. Okay. So it's better to eat it um, with a topping sooner rather than later, because it will get soggy. Okay, so uh, judges just li like to inform you guys that the Pringles are going to be present as a topping, and they uh, said that you should eat it immediately. Like, don't let the Pringles sit, because it'll just get mushy. It's like cereal. It's like cereal. You let it sit too long. Uh, we got a blender. I'm not sure if you'll be able to use that or not, but we've got a blender for you. So apparently, there was not a full yellow onion, so uh, that I could find anywhere. So I have both slices of a yellow onion and a white onion here. That I will give over to apparently <laughs> that I'll give over to Aaron here. So we've got pieces of onions for you. Elements of onions. Elements of onions. If you <laughs> shove them together, you can make one onion out of them. This is how we do this. Wow. Okay, so. Oh, thank you. Oh, it was in it was in the wrong wrong cooler. So okay. there's your onion. Uh, I wanna say, look at this jackfruit over here. This jackfruit, it looks like meat. Like Isn't it that... looks like you're actually making meat. Alien meat. <laughs> Alien. It looks like an alien, uh, an alien heart. We have it, production Sarah. We've got the uh, onion there. Um, <laughs> wow. So what are you gonna do with the onion in this jackfruit here? You're just gonna. We're going it? for it. No, we're. I just drooled. <laughs> did, you, did you drool on the jackfruit? Is that what just happened? Ooh. I just drooled because of thinking about this delicious, delicious jackfruit. Uh, so we also got a sabotage here. Uh, turn off all heat. 
for five minutes. Oh, so no. turn off all of your heat for the next five minutes, only, please. That's okay. Oh, she said she did a little head nuts and that's okay. Ah. That's, okay. that's okay. What are you doing? Okay. Why, why are you turning more Latin? We ain't scared, man. <laughs> we ain't scared of you when you're turning off my heat. Okay. Well, Chingon? Green, uh, Purple Squad is now voting on a. <laughs> it's okay, okay thank you. Here. Purple Squad voting on a sabotage for the but Green Squad know. right now, and I hope it doesn't turn out as bad. Oh, I hope it doesn't turn out as bad as something that's useless for your team yeah. there. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no, no. no. We're, gonna, we're gonna make <laughs> Chef Aaron run two more laps around the building. <laughs> you get your cardio in there today, Chef Aaron. I said uh, I'd rather do that than sleep for five hours. Oh. All right, we get to steal one ingredient. Hey, uh, Chef Fox, if you can steal any one ingredient from over there, what would you like? They've got red pepper flakes, rosemary, spice salt, uh, pickles, avocado, cashews. Yeah, steal the pickles. Uh, no, avocado used... oil, cinnamon, red pepper flakes. Yeah, go over there. Just go. What go. is this scooting moment? Cinnamon. Wait a minute. <laughs> Everyone really loves cinnamon. That train that she just like did over. Oh, she's, she's still, still doing it. You still the. You still all the tomato. We still all the ingredients. No, part of it. All? Yeah. Oh, you can still have that ingredient. one. Joe, okay, she only uh, <laughs> So yeah. good. So kind. Oh, what a sabotage so that was. Nah, I know. Oh, no. Both these sabotages were like eh. <laughs> Not, not against you, squads. The timing just didn't work out. Texas reference says, Mike, that was rude. What? Me, me calling I mean, you out? I, I'm I was going to do it. It's a tomato, but. You were using it. Well, now you. You still have plenty of tomato. Yeah. Wow. What, what are you. Happening? Are you pickling? Somebody said they wanted a charcuterie plate. They're doing and a so charcuterie board. Somebody is getting a charcuterie plate. Oh my God. I'm so excited that we're actually going to get a charcuterie plate now. I, Wait how up. do you want a baking spatula? Uh, in. The trash? <laughs> All right, wait a second. What is happening over here? You no. just poured, can we get a shot over here? Okay for this. Uh, we're gonna get a shot over here. You just poured everything from that stew that you were making into the blender. Yeah, so this was my backup plan just in case that would happen. Yeah. Um, this doesn't require heat unless you count electricity. Right, no, so, it does not count. All right, so I'm just I'm just going to blend it and it's going to be in like a nice cream of something. A nice cream of something, perfect. Of something. <laughs> we will be serving you cream of something. We'll see. And don't forget, Pringles still need to be present in that dish mm. there, so. Oh, and we do want to Ryan the folks at home while she. Oh, uh, well, let's get her blending this real quick yeah. there now that I think about it. <laughs> it's a surprisingly quiet blender. Yeah. It's like a, a blender appropriate for small children. It's pleasant. Sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. Look at that. Look at that yep. slurry yep. being made. Yep. As, as, is it just water and mushrooms and tomato? It's the broth of all of the veggies. Ah, ah. it's the broth. Okay, so we do want to remind you, um, I take it back, Ted, you rock from the swinger, because that's what we're actually doing is the charcuterie plate. Oh, no. uh, thank you. Um, we do want to ask uh, folks at home, as a reminder, you can log into Twitch, you can join and actually affect the outcome of this show. You can vote on ingredients there. Consider following. Consider if you have a prime sub available to us. What's happening? Uh, how it's is nice. that chive vinegar? It's good. <laughs> if you have a prime <laughs> smooth, Twitch smooth. prime available, please do consider using that on us as it does help us here at the show and to keep this going for you folks at home. Uh, right now, you folks are voting on a scoring category and that scoring category is gonna affect both chefs and both dishes here. So consider that when you're picking up that scoring category. <laughs> How uh, about the category, is it appropriate to serve it on a block of wood? On a block of wood, that's Ooh, a good one. That's yeah. a good one, that's a great. Pairs. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Uh, judges and chefs, the first scoring category that Green Squad has picked is pairs. Pairs. Now, not P-E-A-R-S. This isn't the cool metal band pairs. No, this is, or the fruit pairs. Yeah. What? Why did you bring immediately go to a, a bunch metal of Swedish band guys over a pair? <laughs> uh, do you know? All right, we got about six minutes left. Uh, Chef Fox, there was a question in the chat. How are you going to serve that soup considering you already used bowls from the first dish? It's like a fancy soup. You only need a plate for it. The fancy soup that you only need a plate for. <laughs> Maybe it'll be the flattest category. There you go. Ooh, yeah. Flattest. Make sure, yeah. Flat. Make make flat a category. Make the category. Jesus, I once, hope not. Once you pop, can you stop? That's a, right, what a that's great category. Ted's dream. I'll go to that. Pimo the Ted's dreamy emote. Let's do that for y'all there. there. Everyone loves using that emote. Everyone it's my does. favorite one. Uh, so, you got about five and a half minutes, Chef. Uh, what? Great. Here we go. The second scoring category for this round. Judges and chefs. Hybrid. Okay. Hybrid. Oh. Hybrid is it, is it pairs? A hybrid. Hybrid pairs. Mm. 
I don't know. So what? let's go ahead and turn it over to our judges, uh, Steph and Kel, and, or Kels, Kel, Kels, Kel from now on. Kels, and see what they think about <clears throat> the scoring categories, hybrid and pairs. Steph, you wanna go first here? Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> I'm not entirely certain how to uh, interpret this just yet. Because pairs, I, uh, It's think, metaphorical. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. I don't know. It's artistic. Yeah, I mean, hybrid, it could be a hybrid of different uh, cultures or different like flavor profiles, I guess. I'm yeah. trying to reach here. Ah. Uh, and pairs, I guess, things that pair well together. Yeah. Sure. I'm going to go yeah. with something like that, I guess. Something along those lines. It's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll it figure out. it out as we go. <laughs> <laughs> and Kels, what are you thinking there? Uh, well, we're going to make it up. It's up to artistic interpretation. So <laughs> I'm going to make it up. You're going to make it up. Yeah. Great. Make it up as we go. Great. What can go wrong? And um. I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> I really, I don't know. I, I mean, it's kind of, it's hard to see what the end result is going to be right now. Whereas with the tofu, we can kind of see what's going on. Yeah. This, the, the last five minutes are really going to be like, what's going on? Like, this is what it is now. <laughs> I love, I love when we go to Kells and she, she does things like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we have Kells on the good show. good television. All right. No, yeah. absolutely. Mean, now, Ted? I do want to say, I just went over and tasted that jackfruit. Jackfruit's good. Is that's it? That's really good, honestly. Like, that's super tasty. I'm super surprised at how uh, good that's coming out. And I think part of it, it was nicely salted and it's been like, got a nice sear on it as well. How are we thinking we're gonna match those scoring categories, uh, Chef Aaron? Um, well, I'm hoping that these two things will be a pair, and there will be two other things over there that'll be a pair. Ooh, okay. And then um, that it's a hybrid. Um, it's something that you would eat while you're driving your Prius. <laughs> <laughs> while driving, because if there's nothing more I love is having a charcuterie board just on my lap while I'm driving. In well, a, Prius, in a Prius is like, it's a real smooth ride. Right. Hopefully we get a free Prius. I'm like, oh, nice. Like, you're you're running for Prius. a Prius here. Yeah. Okay. I dig it. No, absolutely. And how's this pickling process coming out here? Well, these are pickles, pickled and pickled juice. Yeah, so that's coming out good. Is mm -hmm. it working on the uh, onions and stuff? The little pickle juice and the... Not... No, it kind of tastes like a hamburger. <laughs> I mean, what? that is not a bad yeah. thing. That's really good. Oh. I actually really enjoy that. Uh, we also got some canned kidney beans from the Green Squad here. Uh, Mick Swinger says that cuttlefish uh, having the idea of using the uh, the orange as a bowl, scooping in all the oranges, using that, serving the dishes as an, as an orange. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking about doing that, but I was like, I'd rather do that with the bell pepper. I'm already adding apple into mine, so it's going to get that taste. So I think the orange will be overcome. It will be overcome. All right, uh, you also got a zucchini. I don't know if you can use that, maybe later for the polenta. We're seeing, you're putting it back in the blender. What's going on? It needs I, to be thicker. It needs to be thicker. With only two minutes left on the clock there, you guys are coming down to the wire. That's how we roll. What is that? Ted. Cannellini beans? Kidney beans, yes. Kidney beans. Dark red kidney beans. Ooh, Aaron, this is looking good. I like the like pair of pickle slices that you got on each side there. Mm -hmm. Pairs, judges. And uh, I like the <laughs> hybrid hybrid of flavors, judges, that we got over here. It's going. hybrid, so it's 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 a hybrid because it's uh, jackfruit supposed to being riet. Do you know what riet are? No, I don't. So riet are things that are stewed in their own fat. Yeah. So imagine if you had a hot tub of, of <clears throat> fat. Okay. You just hung out in all day. You'd slowly break down, <laughs> get soft. Ah. Like duck riet, pork riet. But this is this is jackfruit riet. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's a hybrid riet. because it's is it meat or is it? Not meat. Is it, is it, why is he putting that much avocado oil on it? Yeah. Uh, Pimo. I love that. Okay, I'm into it. Pimo is saying, uh, as a reminder, he's like, don't forget the chips. She knows about the chips. Don't worry. She knows about the chips. She knows about the chips. Can I have a Pringle? You can not have a Pringle. No. Ah, this is on it. our side. No Pringles for you. Well, then you don't get any more pickles from the us great. on our side here. We great. have 42 seconds 42 left 42 seconds Video. left. Wow, we're ready to go? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, we're going to wait. I'm just going to eat pickles. Seconds. You know what I think we should do? Let's Ooh. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Let's split these up so it's a pair of those, and then split these up so it's a pair of uh, those as well. Just so we can hopefully get a couple extra points in here right at the very end, you know? I think that might, uh, <laughs> might suit it real well. 
Yeah, see, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm only thinking of you, judges. I'm only thinking of you. And then let's uh, do that with these two. Mm, we got about 10 seconds left. Um, what are you gonna do here? Ooh. Okay, well, we got four seconds left here. And then that's it. Uh, just, right. just take them. Okay, sounds good. We are good. All right. So as you can see here, we have a nice little charcuterie board here for you, uh, or our version of a charcuterie board. Judges, now, um, as you can see, there are pairs of the pickles there. There are pairs of the, <laughs> of the cashews. Well, they, they melt together over there. There are pairs of the jackfruit. Don't try to count the jackfruit shreds. It's going to be really hard. Um, and we've also got a little bit of some uh, mixture of stuff in there. It should taste good. As you can see, there's a hybrid of vegetables there as well. So we hope you enjoy that. All right. And chefs, for you, we have this pair of plates. As you can see, the bell pepper creates the, uh, the, it's the brackets. Right in front of that camera, sure. Mike. That's right. That's right I am. <laughs> right, in, right there, if you can see, the bell pepper creates the brackets. Uh, and with the Pringles uh, right on top there for you guys to use, uh, this is the fancy soup. As they said, it's a hybrid because there's a little bit of crunch, a little bit of soup, a little bit of thickness. It's on a smaller plate, so it's not quite a soup, but it is kind of, kind of a soup. Not hybrid. It's good soups. color, isn't it? It's, <laughs> it looks like a true. unicorn it's was so blended so into so there. The it, I mean, a unicorn was blended into there. I'm going to respect the chef's wishes and eat this first so okay. that the pickles don't get dirty. There we go. So, Chef Aaron, we got available to us while they were voting over there and while we were with the judges, kale. We Great. got some kale available to us. Maybe this we can is make the some healthiest yeah, squats right? as ever. Maybe we can make some kale chips on that griddle. I don't know. Or maybe in the oven that we got available to us, too. Yeah. Um, with that, we, I mean, we've got about 20 minutes <laughs> left to us here. <laughs> why, why is Parma like in the Parma? Parma! You can get Parma. Well, we got to do that together. Parsley. Ready, ready? Right, yeah. One, two, three. Parma! Parma. As in awesome. Parma ham? Yeah. <laughs> It's Parma. I don't no, know. No, you get a ham. I think it's a cheese. You get a ham. You're disqualified. Uh, we get no. We get the ham. You get the Parma ham. You get Parma. It's Parma cheese. What is Parma cheese? I don't know. Maybe is it, is it a mine? Is it a fake cheese? Would it go really well in macaroni and cheese? Miss Click says it's vegan cheese. I don't know where vegan cheese is. Did you check? My, check uh, did you check my my cool? I did not check yours here. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's see. Getting from production here. It's on the top here. Let's see, and, oh, that's Parma cheese. What the hell is that? That's why I couldn't oh, find it. That, oh, that, this is going to be the best thing ever because it's going to be <laughs> nothing but glutamates. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, taste that. Wait. I bet it tastes like, uh, like fake I meat. Bet, I bet it tastes just savory as hell. Oh, I'm excited. So basically, it's MSG. Yeah, that would be. Oh, that's, that would be my guess. Is that? I'm really excited. You're, about. You know what? Those polenta's looking nice and fluffy there, Chef Aaron. Thanks. I think I have something that's going to help make it even fluffier. That it's in powdered mashed potatoes. Oh, that's a forced ingredient. That's a forced ingredient for the next dish, judges. In his polenta, there must be powdered mashed potatoes. And I heard the saddest sigh come from my chef. Chef, did you want those powdered? I love potatoes. You, <laughs> you love it. You still have like half a potato over here. Yeah, but it's that's powdered. That's powdered. This what is you, uncooked. This is uncooked. What do you got going on here with this polenta? You got a ton of spices in there. I'm gonna what, bread the tofu. So you're gonna bread the okay. tofu with this it. polenta. All we right. Need extra hands right now. Oh, what do you need me to do? I'm here uh, for you. Throw that kale in here. Throw the kale in here. Yeah. All right, I got it. You're gonna bake kale? You can do that. Get yeah. Nice oh, and crispy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sizzle, Ted, sizzle. Pull the mic. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> I think we are. We're gonna step forward there. Yeah, so uh, we are forcing on you rice cakes. Oh, oh no, Crunchy. rice cakes. Oh, too bad we were already gonna bread the tofu. Now we have to uh. use these rice cakes to continue to bread the tofu. Dang you it. suck, Green Squad. How dare you? You <laughs> suck. What was that? that was the false anger. I know, because thank you, because that's actually gonna help us out quite a bit. We appreciate that. <laughs> All right, so I'm glad we got those kale chips in there. Uh, <clears throat> Chef Aaron, do you think that's gonna work out for us? Those kale chips right in the. Would it be okay if I asked you to do that? Maybe. <laughs> Would it be okay if so, I asked you to Potentially. That? Uh, this is actually pretty good, I wanna say. Uh, we had from Amanders in the chat saying there uh, advice to Aaron, it can feel a little sandy. Okay, thank you for that advice. Yeah, absolutely. Great job, Amanders. There at home, watching from home. <laughs> watching from home. Ooh, it does actually taste really good though. Um, I'm into it. I'm not sure how we would use it though. But it is a garlicky green almond. 
is what it says. This ice cream scoop is really coming in handy for <laughs> its non-intended uses today. Oh my god. Mike, what is it that you're doing over there? I'm thing? helping my chef out by cleaning, uh, cleaning out the blender that was used in the last round. Cleaning out the blender is what's happening there. And uh, Mike, what is your chef doing? Uh, my chef, I don't know what my chef's doing. Uh, I, just, I like how production's like, keep talking, Mike, but Ted's still talking production, so I can't talk over Ted, because then we have multiple conversations happening at once, and that's a no-no. <laughs> we know that's a no-no. What exactly, so what's happening over here on your side? I'm breading tofu. You're breading tofu. Yeah. What is it that you're breading it with, the polenta itself? With the polenta. Interesting. Yeah. And then I can bread it with um, the Pringles, too. Oh, you're going to reuse the Pringles. All right. Yeah. You don't have to. Remember, those only force for that last dish. The thing we have to use in this dish is the rice cakes. <laughs> All right, and then folks at home, I do want to say if you are, you. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider following. If you have a Twitch Prime sub available to you, please consider using that Twitch Prime sub on us, as that does really help us continue to keep the show going here. So, uh, and if you haven't joined a squad already, you can see that on your screen. Click that little button that says "Join a Squad," and you can join the Handsome Green Squad or the Devious Purple Squad. So. Yeah, see, look how devious this guy is. So, says, and that's why purple is 2 -oh. That's right, because I Ooh. care. PMO is letting us know you can use it where you would use goat cheese, too, that parm. It's uh, what I thought it was after tasting it. It's uh, Oh, a goat cheese? Brewer, no, it's brewer's yeast. Ah, gotcha. It's brewer's yeast with some sunflower seeds in it. That's why I looked at the ingredients. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Ted, why don't you walk you over to the judges there and uh, find out their thoughts on this second <laughs> dish here. All right, so judges, <laughs> I am here with you. Uh, how do you feel about these dishes? Give us a little rundown on how they work. Jackfruit is difficult. <laughs> really? Yeah. 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 That's, um, jackfruit is a difficult thing, especially we were talking about canned jackfruit. Yeah. Uh, it's a very difficult thing to do because even done the best, it's not going to be good as fresh yeah. one that you cook. Uh -huh. Um, this was interesting. Okay. Uh, I, I would say... The the first the first thing from the first round was definitely I think a better one. Okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. Don't wow. don't worry about it. Lots of steam coming out there. <laughs> <laughs> but we fear it might happen. Well, that's steam, not smoke. So okay. Well. Wow. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, turn it back over here to our judges. Uh, <laughs> I have one note. You okay? Uh, I gave a penalty because there's an odd number. <laughs> Those are cashews. Those are tiny ones. Those are cashews. cashews. Yes. This tiny one. Yeah. Okay. She gave a penalty because of odd numbers of cashews. Yeah. Yep. Because pears. What about just <laughs> one bowl of soup? One bowl. Ooh. It, it, scoring's you. already over there. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, Stephanie, really. what did you think about these dishes? Uh, Can I keep eating this jackfruit? Yes. Yeah, I, I, I actually really like it. It's really good. <laughs> I, I'm enjoying it. You know, it. I, so I actually, I have a, a little bit of experience working with canned jackfruit, and mm -hmm. so I don't, I I have had it where it's kind of really disgusting. Uh, this is actually pretty decent. <laughs> I like the I like the sear. Um, I'm not a big fan of the texture just in general, so I mean, I'm not going to be a, a huge fan of it regardless of yeah. whether or not it's done well, but I say for jackfruit, this is done really well. Okay. Um, I also kind of appreciated the the like heaviness of this with the pickled mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. So it actually played really well together. Um, I'm trying to be nice to the other dish. <laughs> I'm trying. I I have a rule where I will always try something twice. <laughs> so I tried it twice. I I it was a it good. It was a. I you know that's the thing is that her flavors in the first were good. So I'm just like, man, that is just like the 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 way of the the way of the game. I unfortunately, <laughs> it was a good attempt. Uh -huh. um, I appreciate what she was going for. It's not even the fact that it's a soup on a plate. <laughs> it's just that was good. Yeah, I, that it was, was it was interesting. But it's just yeah. It, right. Unfortunately, it, it just it kind of. It wasn't able to be brought together as much as it probably needed to be able to. Gotcha. Well, thank you both for your opinions. Let's go ahead and see what the uh, final scores were. I believe production has that all ready to go here, and we'll see that in just a moment. Uh, they see it on their screen. So, total for this dish, Purple Squad 27, Green Squad 35. Ooh. And we had a minus Ooh. one point <laughs> for an odd number of cashews, so we should have had 36. But uh, it looks like there it was taste that took away from 
uh, the uh, flavor of the jackfruit round from Purple Squad, and it looks like taste as well. Kells wasn't super fond of our charcuterie plate on the Green Squad, but it looks like uh, pears. Kells jumped us up there. Wow, <laughs> killing it there. Pears. Stephanie was pretty mellow across the board there. We well, tried. We tried. <laughs> we, so, thank we you tried. very much. Uh, let's turn it back over to Mike and the chefs over there. We've uh, got only a couple great. minutes left. Here's what you missed during that voting section. Uh, my squad is voted on a red onion and some jarred banana peppers uh, for my squad over here. You guys got some water chestnuts. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's only missed. And you just voted on a sabotage okay. to add two teaspoons of any of your liquid to this dish. Ooh, of any liquid. Uh, how about of, our, um, of your how about our uh, burnt kale water? That, that's, that, <laughs> no. that kale. Uh, I think that's liquid? a little, I think pickle. Please pickle. keep in mind we have to consume this. Pickle juice, they're gonna get two juice. teaspoons hey, you of pickle juice for this. added to oh, your right. dish. <laughs> now, I don't have a teaspoon guy, so. Where's the teaspoon? So There's let's do uh, tablespoons here. No, let's take a, we'll let's take a spoon. spoon. Where let's the take a spoon spoon put that in there, right? How, where did, did you not grab them? No, I didn't see it on the pick list, but let's see. Uh, ooh. Oh. No, let's see. Oh, well, you uh, hey, Chef Aaron, what yep. should I oh. put this in? Um, you should put it in that, whatever that is. Okay. That is. Okay. Yeah. You want to tell me when it's two teaspoons? No, wait, stop. We got it. We're getting the teaspoons. <laughs> We're getting the teaspoons. Don't, don't no, let no, them no, do I got this. it. I got it. I got don't it. Let them get this. There we go. We've got them. We've got them. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, you were about to let him too. Come on, oh, come on. Uh, this is a quarter of a teaspoon. This is a half a teaspoon. Uh, let's see here. Maybe not one that's been on the floor. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't on the floor. You're good. Uh, we so weird. It's good here. for your immune system. <laughs> also, five second rule. Yeah. Also, five second rule. Ted, okay. you're chopped. Get that, out. Feeling good. I don't. Chopped. There we go. Chopped. These are great. Are these, are these right. four Five ingredients? Seconds. That was not four <laughs> ingredients. Uh, Chef Fox, we actually get to add three ice cubes to any one of their dishes right now. So I'm gonna go grab that uh, ice, okay. and you figure out. You tell me where you want to put that. Those ice cubes. All right. Wow. Uh, I'm so glad we came out on top on that one. I'm very excited. Now, Chef Aaron, uh, let's go ahead and see what you're actually doing here. How are those kale chips turning out, by the way? Are they? That was what was smoking up the place. Oh, okay, so that was good. We, I did see when I was cubes. over with the judges there, uh, one of the kale chips went whoosh yeah. into the air. I don't know if I anybody, okay, I just wanna yeah. make sure. You can see it on <laughs> camera as well. Sure. There's a it's shot a that we have yeah. where What's we see one? the kale chip go straight into the air. Yeah, it wasn't so, wasn't so good. No, uh, well we do have about nine minutes left. You think we could cook some, all right, they're putting ice on here. They got a sabotage where they can now place three cubes of ice in any of the other squad's dishes. And they are doing that real quick. Wow. And making quick work of that. Good job, Chef Aaron. Oh! Oh. <laughs> it goes on the dish. It goes on the griddle. <laughs> uh, you didn't expect that, did you? That's still in our... That doesn't... Uh... What is happening? No, no, no. You, you already had three. There. And then you took them off the plate. I don't know. I don't know. You took them off the plate. They needed to be in the dish. You okay. took them off the, the dish. dish. You took them off the fight, dish. Fight, fight. I don't know what's happening here. Chef Aaron is, just looks at me and goes, uh, What kind of show is this? <laughs> you signed up for it. Oh! You have this, keep putting that water off into the off into the thing there. Yeah, you want to be the hydro jockey? The hydro, I can do that. You want to be the hydro jockey? Hold in your hands. Uh, here, I'll go. Oh, I got water I'm down. Here. You can be the hydro jockey. Okay, I'm going over here, everybody. So, sorry I'm going in front of the camera. I'm gonna go over here on this side and go ahead and do this. Uh, Debauchery says, put the ice cubes as a finishing ingredient. Unfortunately, the sabotage has to happen right when it's voted on. We can't wait until the end. Otherwise, that would've been amazing. Just been like, oh, by the way, here, uh, judges, here's your dishes. Oh, and also here's three ice cubes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't let them melt the entire time. They must be featured in the dish. What are you excited? You excited about the beer? Both got beer. Oh yeah, yeah. The sh the squads love to get beer. Uh, you got excited. Both You've already the cracked the beer to get open. Beer. You, just, you knock on one back. What's your plan? I put it. You put it in there. You put it in there. All right. What do you? There is a mess over here. Let's talk about what's yeah. going on. Talk to me. What are you? What are you thinking with this uh, mm. final polenta dish? We have about seven minutes left. Um, it's gonna be a rice cracker on the bottom, topped with the breaded tofu and then drizzled with the sweet sauce since that's going to be more on the salty side. Ooh, all right there, yeah. It's gonna be a rice cracker platter with uh, with breaded polenta and drizzled with a sweet sauce. That sounds amazing. I can't wait to hear that. 
I'm still over here, everybody. <laughs> it looks good to me. You're, you're doing a great job. All right, and that's great that we've got that rice cracker because the very first scoring category for uh, chefs uh, and judges is texture. Oh. Texture. Ooh. So I do want to say, and I'm over here in this camera, I don't know if that necessarily means, and I'm okay with that, if it means a lot of texture, a crunchy texture, a delicious texture. Different it might just textures? be up to the, there we go, all the ice is gone. Okay. Uh, that might just be up to the judges themselves to figure out. There we go. Okay, I need some cleanup. Okay, so folks, uh, we do want to remind you at home as well, if you want to join a squad, if you haven't already, you can click on your screen. There's a little button there that says join a squad. You can join purple squad, you can join green squad, and uh, join us for any future iterations of the show. Tomorrow at uh, one o'clock to four o'clock, we will be back again. We'll be back Saturday. We're on Tuesday through Saturday. If you have a Twitch Prime sub available, please do consider subbing to us. All of it would be fantastic. That's it right. does help keep the show going. This is our launch week. This means that it's gonna be our first Saturday broadcast. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited about, I'm about this scoring category. Ooh. This scoring category for the next one, a wow factor. You can the do wow. jazz. The you know wow. what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna serve it and go, boom, wow. <laughs> That's a great plan. Let's make sure we get ours done first. Let's do ours first. Make no, sure no, we're done no. First. <laughs> do you, yeah. no, no. Don't you dare. <laughs> yeah, Don't you I'm dare, jazz hands. Black jazz hands. Don't you What's dare up? steal my jazz hands. Uh, you shouldn't have said it to me. All right. We need to make sure that we are done with ours first. <laughs> let's. All right. Uh, let's go over to the judges. 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 Uh, we'll start with the Judge Kels this time. Judge, talk to us. Wow factor and texture. Let's get, hear your thoughts. I'm really excited because both of them are kind of like frying some stuff. And got some bread going on. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm excited for this one. With texture, I, I think, we I don't want to speak for you, but we're <laughs> just going to go with quality of texture. The like quality. you would with regular food. Like, oh, this texture is good to eat. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> um, and wow factor, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right, Stephanie. We'll <laughs> Stephanie, who already has the wow factor with her hair and her leggings and so much colorful. Yeah. Let's, this is probably like, you probably have high expectations for a wow factor. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> if, if it gets placed in front of me and I, it, it's an immediate response, right? A wow factor. Mm -hmm. It's something that you have that is an immediate response and it sticks with you. So now. now are you saying immediate response, like no, a wow like factor, a like, reaction. oh wow, like, oh god? No, or like, oh wow, I mean, this is amazing, because that can go I mean, either if way. you want to try and get me to go, oh wow, then go <laughs> for it. It might not do well for your dish, though. Right, all right, I just, I just want to make sure. Uh, all right, well, thank you guys for that. Oh, let's talk, let's talk about textures. Oh, yeah, uh, so for me, I, I love uh, dishes that have varying textures, um, soft, crunchy, you know, hot, cold, different plays off of the different ways of doing uh, the stuff. So, you know, I, I want it to have multiple textures. Multiple, so it for you needs, it means multiple textures. Yes, it needs to have a variety to break up the dish so that you can kind of get like a nice full dish rather than it being all mush or something like that, you know? It needs the variety. Great, all right, we've got about three and a half minutes left Ooh. and it looks like Chef Aaron Taking that texture to heart there and start yeah. slicing up some cashews. You ever Definitely. had cashew nut wine? No, is it good? No, it's terrible. <laughs> right. Here we go. Uh, dude, so let's see here. You Are you making croquettes? They're like little polenta cakes yeah. with the um, the potato, the mashed potato, mashed potato mix. mix on the outside to, wow. to bread them. So they're going to be little crunchy cakes. And that was definitely our forced ingredient as well. That ended up coming out. With our polenta. Yeah, that came out very, and very. There's going to be a little wealth of kale. And because I promised it earlier, yeah. there's going to be macaroni and cheese on the plate. Wow. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Chef the alligator loaded. absolutely <laughs> killing it. I am excited. Amanda's is correct. Uh, chef Alligator is absolutely slamming right now. Commanders is a, is, a, is a chef Ted groupie, or just Green Squad groupie anyway, so we can't take her, her stuff to heart. It means nothing. Insulting. It means insulting nothing. Insulting our viewers. She insulted me by joining What's your squad. What's happening over on your squad? We're plating. On your plate. You're We're plating, plating yeah, and I'm about to drop that over there and say, wow. I don't know. Don't we have to thing. both plate at zero minutes? Absolutely I mean, not. It, has to, it has to be done and ready at zero minutes. If we're done and ready before then, uh -huh. and we want to give the chefs the food, we can go ahead and give the chefs the food. Well, you mean the host? Can. The, the host. host. The, 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 the host. You, uh, you, <laughs> you eat your food. I would love to be able to be, you eat your food. I would be. A, I would love to be able to be the one. Uh, Somebody says, "Can we see the Martha and Bebo behind the judges, please?" Yeah. 
<laughs> Here we go. We've got the uh, Martha Amiibos there. There it is. The judges are showing off the Martha Amiibo. They want to get a, a shot uh, of the yes, judges. Yes, please. They, the chat asked for it, so it's very <laughs> important. So they're currently looking at it right now. There's a Martha Amiibo. That is also my Amiibo, everybody. Yeah. Love my Amiibos. She's going to break right, it. Don't, don't break, break it. it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Is this ready? <laughs> Chef Aaron. Just like Ted. Almost ready. It's like two minutes. I'm going to add another. So we've got? I don't know. Uh, are we've you? got about a minute and 34 <laughs> seconds there. All right. It's happening. Oh, my God. Okay, so what do you want me to just uh, tell the folks, Chef Aaron, about this dish? This is, well, you know what? The macaroni and cheese doesn't really go, like, with, it would be Thank arguably, you. uh, May have made more sense to just serve yeah, it with like cheese sauce yeah. because I said I was gonna make macaroni and cheese. I deliver on my promises. So wait, did you just make that just to be extra? Yeah, or? Well, I also know the judges like macaroni. Oh, cheese. okay. Can I eat this kale chip right here? Yeah, you can. So not really chip, but no, this is braised kale. Oh, okay. So it is a texture difference, judges. I do want to say it is a delicious texture difference over there, and I'll do jazz hands for you as well. Texture difference. I'll give you a bonus if you don't do jazz hands. <laughs> Okay. I, love jazz hands. I, that. I, I was gonna steal to his jazz hands. Do the jazz hands and steal it for you, just right. so I can really just be a jerk. And I got to say that's pretty good. Do jazz hands. So what? Yes, there you go. So if you don't do jazz hands, I'll give you a bonus. I'm and if you judge do you. jazz hands, she'll take. I'm the that's judge who tells only lies. You're great. Great. <laughs> great. All right. Okay. Are we done? Got 28 yeah. seconds All right. left. How are you gonna show that up? What? We're done. Excuse me. All right. Hold on a second. Let me get from Chef Aaron. How am I going to what, what do you want me to say about this dish, Chef Aaron? Call Can you this, shush uh, and talk oh. to the judges, please? Pasta and polenta. Pasta and talk to the judges right. here. So this is yours. Okay. Little well, well, squirrel. Oh, that's cheating. Uh, how is that? <laughs> Go ahead. Come on. Tell us. All right. Uh, as I've already presented to you, no jazz hands for you, jazz hands for mm -hmm. you, Chef Cows. We have a polenta breaded tofu with a sweet sauce. The rice case is the first ingredient there, so you can choose to uh, use some of the sauce on there. You can lift it or you can slice it and cut it however you choose to, uh, to eat it there. So there you go. Okay. And I would like to give you here the pasta and polenta. And uh, there you are. It's a nice breaded polenta there. Hope you enjoy that. Gotta say the plating on, on this last round. Wow. Yeah, are, are actually good really yeah. did good, yeah. <laughs> there you go, and none of them saw it. No, none, none of them saw it. I think, the, I think they it. saw it. There, they see? there we go. Now we can... Uh-oh. Uh oh Oh, Steph saw it. That's not good. That's I didn't smart. jazz hands. I just did a... I just did a... I just did a kneel for All right. You, you two go back We're gone. to you eat your. You eat your... Uh, McSwinger this says... This has been a silly show. <laughs> this has been one fucking silly show. I appreciate what Mick Swinger is saying right What there. is he saying? It's a competition. There's no such thing as cheating. It's matters, only cheating if you get caught. I know, because it matters is once again trying to call out Purple Squad for something that she has no reason to do so, saying that we weren't allowed to use the tofu in this third dish. I think that's totally fine. It's We've same, done well, that before. Go. We've done it before, Amanda. We've done that definitely before. We've done before. it before, um, Amanda. Who's fact, at home? Yesterday. I did that on my show when I won. <laughs> See? And I, I used tofu on my last dish, too. Yep. So. Look at that. There you so, go. Uh -huh. uh, with that, wow, the judges have their food. That is it. That is everything. Um, and with that, we're going to actually go ahead and go to a quick intermission. And we'll be right back, folks, where you will find out who the winner Green Squad competition of this competition is today. That's right. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the rest and the winner from Squad of Squad Green says squad. served. We'll be right back, everybody. Oh wait, we're not. I'm like right. Yeah. And we are back, everybody. Welcome. Glad to have you here for uh, the ending of Squad says uh, served. served. Very excited. No, I'm I'm so pumped because. That last dish was amazing. Let's go ahead and talk to our two chefs about their two uh, dishes that came before this. We'll bring in the judges. We'll see what they thought of the third dish, and then we'll announce the results. So uh, why don't we start on your side here? Sure. All right, Chef Fox. Let's talk about dish one uh, for a minute there. The the tofu. Uh, what was your <laughs> what was your thought process while making the tofu? I'm sorry, we popped. It's okay. So now I can't stop. I think it was then that we had limited ingredients, so I know that we had to start with tofu, and I had the time, so I just fried that up. And I wanted to fry up the bell peppers as well, but I didn't manage my time. And for this, well, it's, we'll, oh, we'll focus. This focus yeah, we'll let Aaron talk about because this okay. this first dish they scored it was dead even, dead even across the board. So, uh, Chef Aaron, your first dish, your tofu. Well, dish. I just want to say we've opened the pickles, and once you pickle, you can't come to a trickle. <laughs> it, doesn't, what? it doesn't work as well, does it? No. Um, our first dish was uh, 
was based around limited options, we'll say. As it always As is. As it always <laughs> is. And so um, I just kind of wanted to make something that was colorful because that yeah. was the, the key. And, you know, it's very, very simple. But it still tastes it, it, good. It cannot be offensive unless you're <laughs> like, I wouldn't have done that if the judging category had been served to a five year old. For right. Example. Yeah. But I wouldn't have served any of this food to a five year old. So maybe that macaroni and cheese. <laughs> no, of course. And then uh, let's go ahead and uh, hear about the second dishes. Yeah, let's talk about <laughs> your, your charcuterie board. Oh, you want to do with ours first? Yeah, okay. yeah. Let's, let's, uh, Aaron let's is call it back and forth. He's laughing <laughs> so hard. About hey, God, I got tricked by the pickle. Oh. Um, <laughs> what? It like went down my throat the wrong way. So tricked him, tickled him, tickled by the pickle. Uh, okay, so Ted said this magic word, charcuterie, and I mean like, what is charcuterie <laughs> if not jackfruit? <laughs> um, so I had rosemary and chili flakes, and I kind of had a lot of flavors that you would associate with salami. Yeah. And so I just mostly wanted to put it on the griddle so it'd get a little bit of texture and get a little crunchy. And then I just kind of used whatever else I had that would be on a charcuterie platter. So some nuts, uh, the salt is kind of just for decoration. I had these pickles and I, they were the force ingredient and I pickled some tomatoes and uh, onions that go perfect on a hot dog. And can I just say, what I love about that now is if we leave that there, we now have pickled vegetables as an ingredient. Mm -hmm. Unless we eat them all first. Don't, I, somebody was like, how is the pickle glass almost empty already? Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, exactly, because pickles are... <laughs> That's fine. Because pickles are very more. good. Mm -hmm. Once you pop, I don't more. stop. Uh, because uh, it's, it's absolutely delicious. And let me say, that jackfruit, I love it. It's really good. Like, I'm super into that now. I, I would... Maybe not canned jackfruit, but right. I'll, but it would I'll make it would make really good, uh, like carnitas tacos. It absolutely would. It has a very similar texture to it. Um, let's let's talk about Chef Fox's soup. <laughs> so I, I definitely, soup. Um, I definitely wanted it to be creamier. Um, I wanted to have it on the heat for longer, but that was stopped. So I thought of the next best thing. Um, I didn't account for how, like, not pixely or like bit tasting it would come out. So I didn't like that texture and I just had to go with it with the time that I had. All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, well with that, let's go, let's call our judges over yeah. and we'll talk about this third and final dish and then we'll get the final <laughs> score. So judges, come on over. They're gonna go take your seats over there. That was a magical cat lady walk. <clears throat> Tap dancing. Okay. Tap dancing cat. Wow, there's a lot of that mac and cheese left. There's I know. a lot of mac and cheese left. Oh, oh yeah, right. great. Now the question is, is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> well, let's find out here. Let's find out. All right, uh, judges, either one of you can start. Let's talk about these third dishes here. Um, this polenta dish. I do want to say, like, first of all, is I've been trying to put more vegan stuff into my diet, especially just because it's it makes you feel better inside and, and all of yeah. that um, for various reasons. And I was really excited that like. A lot of, like, I would now like to eat tofu more and jackfruit more. And I like the polenta too, which I always thought I hated polenta. So I think it's been an overall win. Great. Um, and as happens, the last dish was the best from both teams. Um, but usually the first dish is the worst, and this didn't happen. It was on both teams, the middle dish was... <laughs> we'll, I, we'll talk more about that in chill. Let's focus specifically on this third dish. Oh, that third the, dish? We want to focus on this third okay. dish and then get right into, right into okay. chill. I liked, um, it's like a croquet, and I thought it, it tasted, it was really good, and the texture was really good, and the mac and cheese actually tasted like mac and cheese, which surprised me. That's another Nutritional thing I yeast. Know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and this one also, I really like the flavors in this one. So the texture wasn't as good, but I, I, it, it, just the flavors in it were really good. All right. Judge Steph? Mm. Uh, yeah, so I, the, the, both of them were really good, actually. Um, I feel like in terms of that one, I had the hardest time with like looking at it because it's all so white and pale. <laughs> and But it tastes really good. And I actually enjoyed the texture of the rice cake uh, with the rest of it. And the sauce was really, really nice. Um, I feel like I wish the rice cake were a little bit easier to work through because it was literally just the rice cake. Yeah. Um, but it was good. Uh, this one. 
I feel like the textures were a little bit better on that one than this one, uh, but I really like the plating. It's ridiculously uh, chefy looking. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and uh, it was it was good. The polenta cake was delicious, and the mac and cheese was actually kind of it surprised me. Uh, I wasn't sure whether or not I was going to like it, but it was good. I like that. It's just the blue box. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, right, let's go ahead and let's get our chefs up here. Let's get Ooh. our chefs to come join us in the center here. Let's oh, see if with that. The chefs, uh, if Purple Scott is able <laughs> to come back noise? from that, there's the chair. That it's low. Eight, that eight point deficit. <laughs> Stand you in the middle here. Let's see if we can oh. start in the middle. And let's that go eight point deficit, and we'll see if we can get uh, uh, well right. played. Well played. Yeah. yeah. There yeah. we go. <laughs> All right, and we're getting the purple score first. On that last dish, the purple score scored. They have a grand total of 119. 119. Okay. Very good. Green squad with a total of. 131. 131. Congrats, Woo! Good job. on your first win. Go Good grab job. that yeah. belt. Oh, go grab that belt. Oh, All we right. finally get one on the wall. You finally got that, one on get the that wall. Piece of whatever yeah, you want. Get trophy. Get that on the wall. Right. We're gonna Green put up the squad, final. Thank screen. you. We're gonna go ahead and put up the final oh. scores right now. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Squad Says Chill. We're gonna do a quick 20 second break. Not even worry about it. Let's get those final scores up here. We'll be right back.